Piloting an X-Wing is one of the most exciting and fun things to do in Star Wars Battlefront. Here are some tips to help you be more successful and rule the air in Star Wars Battlefront. You got him. First, let's take a look at your screen when piloting an X-Wing. A lot of this is self-explanatory. You have your game information, which is going to tell you who is winning, and then you have your reticle, which is what direction you are flying in or shooting. You have your scanner. This is where uh, going to tell you where you are in the map and where your enemies and allies are. Blue objects are your allies. Yellow objects are your partner, if you're playing the uh, partner mode. And your red objects are your enemies. Now your health is how much damage you have taken. Regenerate, it will regenerate if you avoid taking damage. Okay, let's take a look at your heat gauge. Uh, you're going to watch the heat gauge when firing. If you overheat your blasters, they're going to have to cool down before you can fire again. When you overheat your blasters, an area of the gauge is going to turn yellow. If you continue to use your blasters, the heat gauge will eventually turn red and you will not be able to use your blasters for a while. They will have to cool down to a point that you can then use them again. I'm guessing that's somewhere around 10 to 15 seconds. Let's take a look at your controls when piloting the X-Wing. The left stick controls your speed. Push it forward and your speed increases. Pull it back and your speed decreases. The left stick cycles power to and from your engines. The action of cycling power to and from your engines will become very important later in this tutorial, so really pay attention to that. The right stick is simple. It simply points you in the direction you must go and put your reticle on enemy aircraft, weapons, infantry, etc. The L2 or LT button, depending on whether you're on PlayStation or Xbox, is your soft lock button. Hold this when, when you put your reticle on an enemy ship to lock onto it. R2 or RT is pretty self-explanatory. That's your blaster buttons. L1 or LB is your shield ability button where you can absorb enemy fire. It doesn't last long, but can help you escape certain death when an enemy locks onto your vehicle. Only thing you gotta remember, this has a 15 second cooldown time. So if you get somebody on you, they've locked onto you, hit that L1 or LB for your shield, and hopefully that will keep you from certain death. R2 or RB is your proton torpedoes. These weapons are what makes the X-Wing a unique and deadly fighter. They help destroy the Death Star and, and can at times destroy an enemy on their own with one shot. So those are very important that you get locked on and use those wisely. Your direction buttons are your evasive maneuvers. You get an enemy on you and they lock onto you, you're going to have to be able to have these available or you're pretty much a dead duck. You, you can use left, up, right to evade enemy fire. Down will and also down will change your field of view to first or third person. So that's going to be your preference. But that left, up, right, you're going to have to have these when somebody locks onto you or you're going to be into a lot of trouble. If you're in a mode that allows you to exit the vehicle, X on Xbox and Square on the PS4 allows to eject from the vehicle. Now, how are you going to use all these buttons and displays to pilot your X-Wing? When you enter battle and are approaching the battlefield, the X-Wing, they're going to be a bit slower than a TIE Fighter or a TIE Interceptor, but they can take much more damage. So I try not to get on the fringes of the battlefield where I can become, get singled out and become an easy target. You're not going to outrun the Imperial Fighter, so staying in the battle will make you less likely to be singled out. This also will help when a fighter starts to lock on you. Many times another rebel ally will cause the fighter chasing you to have to worry about eluding him instead of locking on you. So you stay in the middle of that fight because if you hang out in the fringes there is no help if an imperial fighter locks on you. So now you've gotten a situation where a fighter is locked on you. Quickly use one of your evasive action buttons and head to the nearest congested area you can, varying as needed to avoid being locked uh, onto again. 
Remember, there's about a 15 second time period before you can use your evasive moves again. So use them very wisely. So use it wisely. Make sure that that guy is locked on you when you hit it. Because it, that's the best time to use it. Use it when they're locked on you. Because if you use it before, you've wasted it. Then they can lock on you and you have nowhere to go. Thank you. They're trying to lock on you. Getting your X-Wing in a lot of traffic can definitely save your life. If you enter traffic and an enemy is continuing to try to lock on you, other aircraft can interfere with this. That, uh, this is a big help, can be a big help to you. As your opponent holds L2 or LB to lock on you, the reticle will attempt to lock on to the nearest enemy. If there's an or aircraft whizzing by you, the enemy's reticle will many times lock onto that vehicle. This is going to give you a chance to escape death. So you stay in the middle of that fight, and the more vehicles that are coming by you, the better chance it's going to be that their reticle is going to lock onto one of those vehicles, which in turn is going to give you a better chance of escaping. Many times there's going to be so many vehicles flying by, the reticle is going to lock onto another vehicle, and you're just going to disappear, and they're not even going to know where you went. If you are not able to escape having your enemy lock onto your X-Wing, once your enemy locks on to you, hit L1 or LB to activate your shield. Many times your shield can deflect or absorb a shot, preventing death. Also, since the X-Wing can take much more damage than an Imperial ship, ramming an enemy while your shield is activated may destroy the enemy vehicle without harming you. Just remember your shield is not active very long, so be careful. If you make all the right moves and escape the enemy, your ship's probably going to have suffered a lot of damage, so now you're going to want to head to the ground and collect a repair token. Now, see, now be very careful, because a lot of times you can be going down there toward the ground thinking you're just right, and then you just dive right in the ground. So be careful with that, but go down there, get your repair token, and uh, then you should be good to go. So now, once your X-Wing is repaired, it's time for you to deal some pain to the Empire. You now have an enemy in your sights. Use your left stick, pushing forward to get within firing range. Uh, once you're close enough, close enough, press L2 to lock onto your target. The target will definitely then try to evade uh, an invasive action or start veering right, left, up, or down to evade you. Here is where your piloting abilities are most prevalent. Being able to outfly your opponent will usually decide the victory in a battle. The Imperial fighters are much faster and quicker, but being able to control your engine power can greatly improve your chances for a kill. When the enemy ship tries to evade you, reduce your engine power by pulling the left stick back. This will allow you to make quicker turns with the right stick. Practice controlling your engine power when trying quick turns to stay on your enemy. The less power to your engine, the quicker your turns will be. Okay, you're the aggressor now. You now have your enemy in your sights and are looking to lock on them with your reticle. At this point, refrain from firing at the vehicle. Let your crosshair move and rest on your reticle on the enemy ship. Now this is where power distribution becomes very important. Reduce the power to your engines by pulling the left stick back. This will now distribute more power to your weapons. Your laser cannons and proton torpedoes are more powerful when you reduce engine power, which in turn distributes more power to your weapons. Once you've locked on, press R1 or RB and fire a proton torpedo, which causes serious damage to your enemy. Then begin firing on the ship with your laser cannons until you have destroyed the vehicle. Whether you use the uh, proton torpedo first or weaken your enemy with your laser cannons, uh, that's really your preference. I prefer to get locked on my enemy, use a proton torpedo, that way I make sure I get a shot with that proton torpedo because that's really going to damage, damage the vehicle. Sometimes it's going to destroy it entirely. But that's really up to you, but I use the proton torpedo first and then I start firing with my blaster cannons. I really hope this tutorial was helpful to you. And for more Star Wars Battlefront gameplay, please check out my channel. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.